So inside a grow garden, there is a lot of needs and wants for automation. Now, if you were wondering what I mean by this, there is a lot of things that are tedious to continuously do, but in most situations, very necessary to be able to continuously do. And that is where macros and automation can come in. Do note, none of this is against Roblox TOS, completely free to use. And we are actually close to launching our own grow garden macro software that'll fully automate all this stuff and you won't have any setup. It'll be completely free. You can use it. It'll probably even also work on Mac later once we get it out eventually mobile so this will only currently be applicable to windows so do note that but what we will be looking at is this will be once again applicable to this so do make sure you check out the website that'll be linked um or my discord server we constantly are posting information and we're actually like about to launch in the next week or two so starting off what we're going to do is you can head on down into the description you'll find my website so what we're going to be looking at is this so this is going to be using what's called tiny tasks i know you've probably heard this a thousand times but i'm going to be showing you i have pre-downloads so you don't have to get like all these setups and stuff so you just download it then you get my own configurations i've already made those configurations will allow you to just start it and immediately be back onto the automation so on the website over here so the reason why i have my own download link for this is because actively right now their own github is down so as you see if you come over here right and you go to download the version it sends like page not found so i have the own my own download here so right here this is a recording i made but what we do have is an automation for this now this will be the page in the description so this will be right here if you do want to check this out we have on the home page um really cool stuff we have a garden calculator so you can check and calculate the values of plants with mutation size friend boost and all this stuff very helpful we also have an active stock tracker so if you don't have a way to join my discord server which has a live stock tracker you can join this it does fail to load sometimes but you know give it a quick control f5 and it'll load but this will continuously pull stocks um, for seeds gear and egg right now it's not loading for some reason but it does work so on the macro side so this is what as obviously shown before the current one does not actively work for whatever reason so their github does not work but my tiny task download does so yes it's exe oh this is malware oh look at this 35 kilobytes and if you don't want to download it you can go to virus total and boom see no malware in it at all there is a warning obviously since it is you know you're downloading something but as you see there are no malware scores on this so completely safe and obviously also as you can see if you reload it it is a 35.5 kilobyte file size that is so tiny there's no malware in this I 100% I would never do that because it's kind of dumb but once again download that and then you have all these configurations so most likely I'll update this to where these look better this is just a placeholder once again but this it'll look like this so you'll have these pages all these other ones so you, if you want to auto buy something it'll be in this list so it'll be a full list of everything you want so if you want an auto buying for seeds if you want to auto buy specific seeds or if you want, want to auto buy everything what I do is I pretty much auto buy all the seeds and gear but that's just you know more of a preference because I just like to stack up on everything but once you have it we're going to open up tiny tasks and then on this is what tiny tasks will look like by default so before you click start or anything we're going to go to preference and set playback speed to one and then continuous playback so you have to set continuous playback every time you open it also as a more of a preferred set it's always on top and then set your hot key so this is how you record and then stop and then playback so playback is more the concern since you're using a pre-fired command but if you want to set this up yourself you can if you don't want to download my own records and configurations but make sure you do have a key bind for playback now what we're going to do is open up our configuration and this is mine so i call it new afk.rec so what we're going to do for the setup is very specific so if if your mouse so my mouse has like whenever i scroll in or out i can feel like a bump in the mouse so i'll probably set up one that has like the auto zooms in and out but for now it just clicks like you can feel your mouse click and you have to have it specifically that so it'll be fine you know but to start off we're going to go to garden so you need to click garden and you're going to zoom all the way in and you're going to align to make sure your um bottom bar so where all your hot bar is is equally lined up with the tiles on the ground and zoom out once again with your mouse about five clicks so you're going to go one two uh, that was too many three four five and then you should have if you also want to just space it on this this align perfectly with these bars right here so this is about from where your person's standing one two three four on the fifth one so on the fifth line 
perfectly aligned. And then obviously if it's barely off on the bottom edges, that doesn't matter. But so next we're gonna do is pretty much nothing. Also, if you do want also AFK by gear, you do need to make sure your recall wrench is in your second hotbar since that's the uh, system I use. So do note our macro that we're gonna drop soon. We'll automate all this. You don't have to be specific about the crap you want. It'll auto read your screen, buy stuff specifics. It'll even have a, um, I believe a web hook to tell you, like if you have a Discord server, it'll notify you, you bought this, you bought this, right? Super helpful. And all that stuff is free. Once again, the macro will be free, completely working. But once you have it, you're gonna click start. It'll go over to seeds, right? And it'll go through and it'll, for me, I have it set to buy literally everything. So it'll go through, as you see, I'm not touching anything and it'll go through and buy literally everything. So I'm gonna let it run for a second and then you can see it'll also go over and buy everything specifically that I've set it to claim out of the gear shop. Do note though, if you run this for about eight hours, you're going to blow through a lot of money. So I would recommend having at least a good 10 billion or more. Then as you see, it'll go through buy all the carrots and then it'll X out and then it'll use the recall wrench to go over to the gear shop and it'll buy the gear here. Now, as you see, this is the first first problem you'll run into is if you don't have the bar set up. So to set it up accurately, you need, it can't scroll. So it uses this like drag clicks and all this. You need to have this all the way up to the top right. So set this all the way up to the top right. So like you scroll all the way down and then all the way up and then back over to garden. And then pretty much from then on, it'll auto do all that for you. But do note all the other configurations on my website will include the exact same setup of teleporting over, zooming all the way in and then zooming out five clicks or once again, five tiles from your character. Now, besides that, make sure you do have the recall wrench second slot in your inventory. And then for that, that's pretty much everything for the video. And I will see you on the next one.